What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video and today we are talking about Zodiac and a new Zodiac Super Seawolf GMT. Before I get into it though, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, it helps me bring you these news videos. Uh, on a regular basis. So according to Worn and Wound and Zodiac, uh, in the 1960s, the aerospace GMT was Zodiac's entry into a new genre of watches for travelers, commercial pilots, and otherwise the jet setters. Built off of the Seawolf platform, the aerospace features a 24-hour Bakelite bezel with a split dial, a more formal dial design, and of course, a fourth hand on the dial for tracking a second time zone. Three, if you include that bezel. In the spring of 2019, Zodiac brought the design back in a series of limited editions that sold out in a flash, becoming a modern cult hit. Now, finally, the Super Seawolf GMT is available in two open editions with classic appeal. So they're coming out with two editions of these. These are not limited. However, they say are, these will be somewhat of a limited run right now. They are only available on Worn and Wound. Uh, that is a blog that usually has uh, a bunch of watches for sale as well in their wound up watch shop. Uh, and right now, these have just been announced through the wind up watch fair, which they have done online so there's a bunch of new watches coming out of this fair uh, so definitely check out the fair if you are interested in learning about these new watches uh, polished and brushed stainless steel so there is one version that is polished and brushed stainless steel and then there is a gold pvd and steel version so uh, they both get stainless steel bezels however one is in pvd gold and one is in uh, just stainless steel the dials are black. You're getting an ETA 2893-2, so the GMT version of the higher grade ETA movement, the 2892. The 2893 is the GMT version of that. Uh, complications here, GMT and date. These are automatic, obviously. Dome sapphire crystal, 200 meters water resistance, and the diameter on this is 40 millimeters, so it's a very nice size. 49 millimeter lug to lug and a 13.6 millimeter thickness. Uh, the only thing that I can say about these watches is I'm not a fan of gold PVD and the price on these and they're both coming in at around $1,800, which is pretty expensive. Uh, I would definitely go for the stainless steel version. I would not go for that gold PVD version. I originally thought when I saw the photos of this watch, I was like, wow, they're doing a two-tone with bronze. And unfortunately, that is not what they're doing. Uh, it is a uh, PVD gold. And I think that more watch brands should do two-tone with bronze bronze i think that if you want to wear it and you get a little bit of green on your wrist it's, it's fine but if you clean the bronze often or they can line the back of the bracelets with stainless steel or even if they put bronze on the actual bracelets as long as it's not directly touching your skin maybe it's in the mid links uh or or however it would work then uh then i'm all for it i think that i would much rather bronze than gold PVD. Obviously, if it's a true two-tone, that's a completely different story and you're going to be spending a lot more money. Uh, I think a lot of uh, uh, people who are into dive watches or people who are into dive watches would rather a solid finish than PVD. But that's just me. Uh, I'm not entirely uh, the, the voice of reason when it comes to these things. So uh, maybe a lot of people would rather the PVD gold, obviously, because it doesn't uh, come off on your skin. Anyway, tell me what you think in the comments below. These are really cool watches, but they are very, very expensive. You can get a Zelos for much less money. Um, and that would, would basically have the same functionality. They make uh, the Horizons GMT and, and it's pretty much the same size and uh, a lot less money. But tell me what you think in the comments below. Uh, these are cool watches and they do have history, obviously. So um, good looking watches. But uh, anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. Please also fi follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watch Chris blog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It, it doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.